Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast Edition, fellow competitors speaking. And today we'll be exploring the Neo instrument. It appears that the markets are under pressure. In quotation, it appears that it's under pressure. Uh, we're just going to pull up the same line, guys. Same ascending line that we've been following. I'm also going to pull up. Oh, I'm pretty excited. I have the um, 50 and the 200 exponential moving average on the daily. That I'm going to show you. I'm pretty excited about that. So let's not waste time. Lawyer subscribers, welcome back. If you're new here, consider joining us. Let's dive right into the charts here shall we all right so today is april the 8th sorry the 9th 2021 and the current price of neo is going to be 37 dollars and 62 cents it's down approximately 2.7 percent for the day okay. all right guys welcome back asmr interesting analysis so here's the one line these are the weekly candles that's it super simple simple ladies and gentlemen what you are witnessing on the screen is a uh, the price activity as it found support on this ascending line and uh, had a very extreme move to the upside. And as of recently, it appears that the market has, well, not it appears, it has had an official breakdown below the financial support line. I can't make that up, okay? Arbitrary or not, the price action is below that ascending line. Yes, okay? So what needs to happen next is, we've, we went over this, guys, <laughs> $45 NEO. Buyers, you guys got to step in, get this price back above the ascending support line. Well, at least it was support, and it could still potentially be support as long as the neo buyers step into the market very aggressively and explode, break through, whatever you want to call it. The price actually needs to get above a minimum of $45. As we mentioned in that previous video, it was like, listen, if the price goes up to like $38 or $40, no, that's not enough. It just appears that the market is finding resistance at the previous level of support, which is why we did not close our positions. We held them strong and we literally closed them today um, at a very nice uh, profit. Neil Bulls, take it easy there. All right, I'll just play the swings. All right, so the market still has the opportunity to move up. Do I still have my positions against Neo? No, close them out. I close on a down day and I buy on an up day if I'm putting it down and, and vice versa, okay? If I'm buying to, for it to go up, this will be the day that I buy. Am I buying for it to go up? No. Um, and of course, you know, I sell on a uh, and an up day if I'm betting, you know, with the market to go up. Neo is in an overall uptrend, guys. Please understand that this is not a bearish nor a bullish video on Neo. It is explaining the beautiful story behind the price action and what needs to take place in this market in a very short period of time. Yes, this is a what did the guy tell me? Yes, this is a short term strategy. Um, the market needs to get above forty five dollars. OK, this is this is not complicated to understand. Typically, when you have a breakdown of a financial support line where this is sending, I know I explain this a lot, guys, but I truly want to beat this in my um, new technical guy's brain because they're going to be like, wait a minute. Napoleon's been saying this the whole time. It makes sense now. I get it. Right. And I'm not perfect. Right. But I truly understand the ebbs and the flows to the best of my ability, which I get right sometimes and I get incorrect. OK, I'm still working on my strategy. When you have a break below a support line, when it's a fake out, the very next candle, which should have been this green candle, which is why I was saying it needs to get above 45 on this candle right here. OK, March the 29th, 2021. That did not happen. It got halfway and it found resistance at the previous level of support. When you break below a support line, in most cases, it acts as resistance. Is this the official resistance? No, because Neil still has the opportunity to break above forty five dollars next week. Is it guaranteed to happen? No, it's not guaranteed to happen. But I'm telling you what needs to take place in the market. So when you see things taking place in the market, like the market is moving down or I mean, the previous level of support is going to be thirty five ten. So if you see the market getting below like thirty five ten and closing below that level, that's this is the most important thing I ever want everyone to, to leave out with. When we say specific Pacific levels, I got to stop saying that People are going to start to stand them specific. I know that's what it's called. When we see the when you see the market close three day and weekly candles above or below, like above or below specific levels, that's when I understand whether or not a market will continue in a particular direction. I look for the close. I don't care about the exciting. Oh my God. Hey, Neil's up forty three dollars, man. I told you, you know, falling. You were wrong, man. I'm wrong all the time. I don't care about that, guys. When I see the market move in a sp specific direction, I look for the close. How's it going to close? And all that price activity doesn't bother me. Right now, we're up against a weekly close. OK, so this is where it's important for me to understand that the market is closing above 3510. Well, actually, if we kind of look at it from a weekly standpoint, I would do something like this. It would either be like right here. 
Uh, like so if you see the market closing above the what is that 3796 level yeah somewhere like right about there like 3811 so if you see the markets close above that level that's beautiful that is beautiful if you see neo above 3811 by today april the 9th 2021 that is a beautiful sign okay that was i mean it's, it's an interesting sign but if you see it close below that level mm, mm -mm, not an ideal setup okay uh, but let's let the markets play out again it's not a bearish or bullish video just pointing out the practical levels and the practical moves in the market for the sellers to make or the buyers to make okay why am i talking so intense that's weird all right so next week uh neil bulls you guys got to get the price above like 45 dollars okay at least minimum 45 i really need to see like a 48 50 i mean aggressive move to the upside to really like you know just break through the line right break through this financial support line that way the uh the buyers who actually uh, accumulated and who held strong and said napoleon you're wrong uh they will be great in a great position down here all right so that you guys would be in a very beautiful position to potentially uh watch the portfolio increase uh, as it will uh eventually find support at this ascending line again and just kind of you know blast off through the through, through the universe okay so that's an interesting setup for the bullish case but again the the lower level that the, the buyers really need to protect is uh 35 35 10 the price is currently above that level it's a negative day this is an interesting uh sign for the uh the market okay but just understand uh, the markets are in a very weird position uh so i just that's all i say about the uh the EV market. Let's actually get rid of that line. Let's pull up the uh, beautiful 50 exponential, and uh, let's pull up the let's pull up the daily candles. That's a 50 exponential. That's not an ideal setup. The 50, the market is below the 50 exponential. That's not good. But one of the interesting things that I've noticed is this: it's above the 200 moving. Now that's this is where it gets important, guys. Uh, for those of you who don't understand about like moving averages, um, again, I always said I'm not an expert, but Typically, when a market is very healthy and it's moving in an upwards fashion or trajectory, whichever one, uh, typically it will stay above the 50 exponential moving average and at a very minimum uh, above the 200 moving average. And if you look back here, back when it all kind of kind of this, this area here is just kind of like the consolidation before the move up, like all of this price activity. You can't even see it. Let me turn that white. I, all of this price activity. Like in between September the 9th, 2019, all the way over to like June the 5th, 2020, all of that is consolidation, okay? So let's say it's like 271 days of consolidating, which is good before the very aggressive move to the upside. But the most important thing is once the price activity got above the 250 exponential moving average, if you can see that, um, after a lengthy consolidation, oh my goodness, that's such a bullish sign. Like it's truly the, the, the golden sign, right? That a lot of people, um, and it's actually the golden cross. This is the actual golden cross right here that took place on uh, June the 2nd, 2020, when that golden cross happened after a consolidation range. Take, take note of that. When you, have a, when you have a golden cross after a verifiable consolidation range, preferably like a sideways consolidation range, oh my goodness. That is so bullish. That's extremely bullish. I mean, obviously, here in hindsight, you can see what happened. The, the price literally exploded. But now here's where it gets pretty interesting because the market needs the market. I'm not going to say need. Well, actually, yeah, essentially it needed it needs financial support here at the 200 moving average. This is not an ideal setup because if the markets were healthy and it has strength, it wouldn't necessarily need uh strength uh support financial support at the 200 moving average believe it or not i also look at moving averages as support resistance uh as support and resistance okay so uh right now the financial support is coming in from the 200 exponential moving average so what needs to take place in order for this market to continue the trajectory to the upside neo's in an uptrend this isn't a bullish bearish video sorry this, i'm sorry it's not a uh, bearish video it's not a bullish video just tell me what needs to take place pull up your charts please the market has bounced or the market has found a reaction at the 200 moving average okay if it stays above the 200 moving average at the very minimum it needs to get back above this green line the 50 exponential moving average which is currently at about 43 dollars close to that 45 dollar level we explain if it can close above and stay above that level oh yeah yeah then the markets will be in a very beautiful position to either consolidate sideways i'd say it just needs to kind of consolidate sideways for some time because i truly think that the sellers are probably a little bit too confident in this area and they're looking for a uh, lower prices in the in the market but i'm going to say this right now guys 
I think the uh, Neo Neo is in, is is not in the the ideal position. You have to pull up your charts and just look at the 200 moving average, okay, and see if the market is going to find resistance at the 50. Let's just say it kind of it's broken down, obviously, and then it finds resistance at this 200. I'm sorry, the 50 exponential. No, that's not good. No, that's not good. No, 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 no. That's not good, guys. No, that's the last thing you want to see because if the market starts to close below the 200 exponential moving average, no. Nah. Yeah, you can you can buy Neo for like twenty bucks or something like that in the twenty dollar range. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not saying that's actually gonna happen. Of course the price action will determine that, okay? <laughs> all right. So that's pretty much all I have for you wonderful folks. Um it's in a it's in a no range, it's in a no man's land for me. I'm out of the market. I played it. It was nice. It was nice uh, doing business with you Neo Bulls. Uh but I'm neutral right now. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Any move up. It had better be aggressive. Otherwise, I have to position myself accordingly in this market once again. Anticipation to move in an appropriate direction. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. The uh, the exponential moving averages on the uh, the daily. They look pretty interesting. Um, I don't like the fact that the, the, the 50 exponential is starting to like move down. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's actually going to cross. I think we explained this on our previous video. If it kind of goes down and it does something like that, that's beautiful, right? It'd be like somewhat of a fake out because once you get the 200 to cross the red line to cross below the uh, the green line to cross below the red line. Let me see if I can color code this stuff. Stop talking so much, I guess. All right. So that's the red line right there. And then we'll turn this um, line here. Sorry. So unorganized. Sheesh. All right. So the white line here would actually be green. So this would be technically considered a, uh, a fake out. Like if you see something like this and it doesn't necessarily cross. Um, and of course, it'll still be within a golden cross. Now, if the opposite happens, it's called a um, a death cross. If the green line actually gets below the red line, then yeah, it's a death cross. Kind of goes down like that. That's a death cross. That's not what you want to see in this market. Okay, that would be technically a uh, bear market. Um, again, especially if it finds resistance at the 50 exponential moving average. This green line right here, if it finds resistance. Ooh, not good. Yeah, guys, it has to. Um, Neo needs to show show some strength, guys. Got to get back above this 50 exponential moving, so it can uh, blast out. So hopefully, this is kind of like I know it was kind of lengthy. Sorry about that. A good explanation in terms of like the moving averages is super important for you to just pull them up and take note of where they are right now, so that you can kind of monitor Neo. Um, I think Neo, Neo's Neo. There's nothing wrong with Neo. There's no like danger in coming, but I mean, I could definitely see a twenty dollar Neo. If it can't pick up his stuff here in the short term, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easy. Okay, I'm definitely going to, you know, position myself in this market here. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there. Hopefully this was enough useful information. Uh, let's see how Neo plays out next week. I think it'll be very interesting for the Bulls uh, to, to show some strength next week in this market. Uh, that's going to be interesting to watch. So I look forward to um, doing business with you guys again or uh, playing the market in the upwards direction if I see something uh, interesting. So that's it. Um, if you're new before you go, we'd like to send you more information on the alternative markets. If you're into Bitcoin and altcoins, we cover that. So subscribe, hit the bell. We'll send you that when it's available. And that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Execute your strategies. We're going to talk soon. And bye for now.